Born on this date, January the 8th, some guy named Elvis as Hound Dog on Breakfast Radio. It's Neil, Sam, and Jane. Howdy! Seven minutes after nine. How excited are we to have Christine and Raul from Phantom of the Opera right here? Hey. Good morning. I can feel the chemistry. Yeah. <laughs> Emma right. Grimsley, Truly, Jordan Craig in here this morning. First of all, what are you even doing here? Aren't you on stage tonight? We are on we stage are. tonight. Yeah. We are. We'll take a nap. I'm having an out-of-body experience. I'm actually still sleeping. <laughs> yes. <laughs> if you can see me, that's kind of weird. No. You are a good-looking duo, I just have to say. Oh, you both walked you. in here all dressed up, all gussied right? up for radio. Yes. <laughs> Don't you know it's radio? <laughs> <laughs> I brought my pajamas in the car. Yeah, I can feel free. If you need me feel to. free. <laughs> can I get the curveball question out of the way right away? Yes. Sure. Um, and, and forgive me if this is one that uh, I've, you might not even be comfortable answering. My all-time favorite song in musical theater, in the entire history of musical theater, is All I Ask of You. Mm -hmm. That's a good which, one. of course, is... I've heard of it. ...the big duet. <laughs> yeah. um, who, I have, in my own head, my all-time favorite version mm -hmm. of All I Ask of You. Mm -hmm. Do either of you have a favorite version other than the two ours. of you? Yeah. Yeah. I think um, ours, that honestly is in some ways in the least conceited way possible. That is my answer. We were both chatting earlier about the fact that we came into this show fairly fresh. Mm -hmm. So the first time I ever saw it live was my first day of work at the tour. They handed me a ticket. Same with Jordan. You go, you sit, you take it all in and wow. fall in love. What, what what makes your what, like what is it about what what are you talking about? Your favorite version like what makes your favorite version your favorite version? Okay, so my wow, I wasn't expecting the question come back. I love it. I was going to formulate my answer. Because my all-time favorite version is uh and you can watch it on you, the YouTube. It's Josh Groban mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. Kelly Clarkson, ah, oddly enough, and I, I didn't. Check this out. I didn't even know that Kelly Clarkson had musical theater chops. Oh yeah, but she fabulous. apparently does. She can do anything. And the two, I. I mean, I, Josh Groban's okay. I mean, yeah, he's all right. You know, right. I mean, I get coming, choked yeah. up. <laughs> He'll is, get there. Is it something where, as you're going into a role like this, you even pay attention to what the others before you have done? You know, I, I. I honestly, I've only seen Phantom, I think, one time, and it was when my first day of work when I watched the show. Uh, and, and um, you know, for me, and I, I don't know if it's true for Emma, but I suspect it's true. I mean, we, we just kind of put blinders on to what anybody else has done, to any other version of the show, because I think there's a little, I mean, I take pride as an artist in trying to create something that, is truly my own, and there's a little bit. We have a we have a, a great deal of safety in that because I think at this point we're fairly certain the show is a hit. <laughs> I think we can, so you know we're not. I'm not worried about tanking the brand, okay? Right. Because you know with what I'm doing. So so I I think there's a little bit of freedom there to sort of create something that is you know new new and yeah. and truly something that comes from myself and. And, uh, and and so, you know, I, I don't spend a lot of time looking at other versions because I, I don't want to, you know, what they do, I mean, both of those vocalists, they're two of the greatest vocalists out there. I mean, you know, so I'm, but, you know, I want to create something that, that's true to me. And, and, and so, you know, that, and that's, um, that's all I'm worried about doing. And yeah. that it sort of matches with, you know, this production, this tour is new in so many ways. It's the same music that you know and love. It's the same costumes that won the Tony all those years ago. Mm -hmm. But the set is new. The sort of direction we take it as far as the, the concept and the characters, that's all new. So keeping mm -hmm. it keeping it fresh sort of. Yeah, it, this this, this approach, it. yeah, is very uh, is very unique and not what uh, not what audiences, I think, are going to be expecting if they're familiar with the original version. Well, and you know, you bring up a great point because, as you know, Phantom gripped this city for years. Yes. Yep. Back Toronto in, loves this show. Oh, yeah. They so love this show. In the late 80s, early 90s, I remember going to the one-year anniversary <laughs> of mm -hmm. the show. Back, I think it would have been in 89 or 90, and they handed out cupcakes. Oh, <laughs> no. <wow. laughs> Little Phantom cupcakes. Oh, that's but great. What, what is it about the show, or why would you go back and see the show now if you saw it back all those years ago? You, what is it about this I, show? I think that this show... Um, the reason people keep coming back to it is because it touches on things that are very basic to our humanity. Mm. And and this show is not getting up on a pedestal and trying to preach to you, trying to tell you what to think about something as so much 
uh, we have so much in the in in our media all over the place today that is more instructive than just a revealing sort of uh, exploratory thing about our humanity. I think that's the show comes from an era that's before all of that. So I and 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 people respond to that. It's about our basic emotions. It's about love and lust and betrayal and joy and anger and 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 um and and so people from all different backgrounds across the spectrum of every belief system and and religion and politics whatever can come and just enjoy this story and there's so few things like that left and i think that's why people still come to it mm-hmm. i am getting lots of emails from listeners saying that they're going tonight actually oh, wonderful. so come say hi to us yeah, yeah. Uh, well, they'll, yeah, they'll be waving short. from the audience i hope you don't have a problem with that will that be distracting at all <laughs> no. they stand and wave? someone okay. took a flash photograph in the middle of the oh. first act in our last city so we're pretty we're ready for okay. don't do that okay. don't do it <laughs> do not <laughs> do that anything. so um ahead of tonight's show are you nervous thinking about it just because it's opening night are you nervous i mean the media night is friday but mm-hmm. this is your first show here in toronto do you have nerves ahead of a show i know you guys are both super experienced but does that still happen for you i mean i have nerves ahead of every show sure yeah. they, they never go away they change they're always sort of just out of your grasp as far as like being totally nerve free um but first show in a city We've had so many. They're always the most exciting. You get into, you're getting used to the space. You're getting used to the energy of like the local crew members that are there Mm -hmm. working with you in any city. And it's an, I don't know, sound check day is always an exciting day. We roll into the theater. uh, Tonight our show's at 8. We'll roll into the theater at about 5.30 p.m. We'll have a brief company meeting. We'll have a couple minutes to, you know, put our makeup on or get some things done. And then we do sound check and then pretty much off to the races from there. And it's uh, it's definitely like a rolling with the punches kind of day. Yeah. And I, you know, for me, I know my, uh, you know, I, I I still get nerves, but mostly, you know, I've had two days off. My wife's just ready for me to get out of the house. So, <laughs> uh, so I, I, I'm just gonna get back to work. And she's like, I need, I, you know, I need three hours without you. So please <laughs> go away. And that's what I'm gonna be doing. Wow, <laughs> you go big when you leave the house. <laughs> Uh, listen, uh, we we are so excited to be able to share the chance to go and see this production. Um, and our friend Randy, who uh, tends to lurk in the back corners, <laughs> almost in a phantom-esque sort of yeah, a way. It's right. very familiar right. to me. I feel comfortable yes. with someone. <laughs> yes, that. exactly. Um, he has been kind enough to bring some ducats along with him. He has. Ooh. We've got a pair of tickets to give away to Friday night's show, which is really, uh, for many, the big show. I don't know if it is for you two, maybe first nights, but media night is a very special night because you know the next day we're all talking about you yes, and what we yes. thought of you. It's a very it's definitely a higher day. energy sort yes. of experience. Awesome. Sure. So you are going to get a chance to see that show this Friday night with all of us. And let's take caller seven, shall let's we? Let's do caller seven. One last very quick question, because I'm always interested in this when these shows come in uh, with our Mervish friends. Uh, where are you both from? I grew up in southeastern Pennsylvania, in Bucks okay. County, Pennsylvania, sort of midway between New York City and Philadelphia. Is this your first time in Toronto? No, I was actually in Toronto last time the tour was here, June of 2018. Got it. That we saw it then. Mm-hmm. Yes. yes. Yeah. And uh, and I'm from Houston, Texas, originally. And um, we I know was, it well. I yeah. Yeah. And I'm and I'm uh, and this is my second time playing Toronto as well. I was here in 2018. Fine. Yeah. Oh, you have completely funny. ditched your accent. Can I just say you do well, not? My have mom is a, a speech therapist. She was like, "You're not going to have that until the tequila starts flowing, and then it comes out." So if you've got tequila Hilarious. and you want to hear it, you know, I know it's early, but I just so, finished my coffee, so we can move on. To and Brandy uh, uh, from Mervish in the background is going, "Please don't, yeah. Yeah. please don't." We agreed we weren't going to talk about the tequila thing. All right. <laughs> Emma, Jordan, thank you both so Yay. much for coming. Yay. Good luck to caller number seven. You're going to see a heck of a show. This is going to be so fun. Thank you again both for coming in. It's uh, 9-16. we got to get you a look at Toronto traffic here at a quarter after nine. See what's going up with our friend Stefan. Good morning, folks. Pretty ugly drive out there this morning. We've seen a number of issues at the moment, though.